did you ever expect Sayer to play as well as he did? Sure, absolutely. We, you know, we expect all of our guys, um, you know, to play up to what we believe are, they're capable of. Um, certainly, there's a number of things he can do better, um, but um, you know, we believe in Malik and uh, we trust in him. But again, I would say that you know there are a number of things that uh, you know he saw for the first time that uh, he'll get better uh, from what he you know obviously was in front of tonight. So. Um, did some really good things. I think we put him in a good position to succeed. I think the uh, game plan was such that uh, we wanted to run the football. I thought we did that and uh, gave him some some throws that we thought would um, you know really um, be high percentage for him. I think it worked out well, very well for him. Ryan, over here. Did CJ even surprise you with the way that he ran physically and doing it 20 times today? We were hopeful again. I think we've kind of gone over this before. Um, you know, when we put him there in the spring, um, I was extremely pleased at, at what I saw at first glance, and that was that uh, his first inclination was to run inside and to play physical. And um, you know, my experience has told me that if a guy naturally, instinctively wants to run inside, um, you can teach him the other things. And uh, there's other things that we've got to teach him. You know. Some of the things in the offense, he thought he was going to get a, uh, a different kind of handoff one time and a couple of things in protection. But um, he's a big kid. He's athletic, strong. He's not afraid. He's a veteran. And um, I think he showed that tonight. Well, um, I think that um, you know we're quite aware of where we were last year when we turned the football over. So um, you know, I think Coach Sanford's done a great job in developing you know, that kind of identity with our quarterbacks. And, and uh, I, I think we feel confident that we'll continue to work on that. And we know that that's a secret to, it's no secret, but it's it's the thing that we know it's it's going to be singular, the, the reason why we can win. Brian, the freshman class last year, you played them when you had to, now you're playing as you choose to. How, how significant of a development is that for the program overall, that you have some guys that can come in and help you with spot to be in play? Well, I think any any top-notch football program has to be able to call on some of these freshman players that have, you know, the mental and physical, and, and I underline the mental as well as the physical ability to come in and compete right away because it creates competition within your program that rises all ships, and that means your upperclassmen as, as well. So, you know, Josh Adams has made... Uh, my two veteran running backs better because of his level of play, and, and that's across the board. Uh, Equinemia St. Brown uh, has made Will Fuller better. So when you get a freshman class like that that can come in and compete and play at that level, those kids see it. Those veteran kids see it, and it really um, drives them to be better players. And